I'm glad that trauma is here to keep me humble. In case I ever believe that I am getting too well, the after years keep me in the street between doing okay and giving that thumbs up with the other hand on a trigger. The after years have taught me where to file her neatly into my gray matter, when she stomps into my mind masquerading as a sweet thought, and where to tuck all of the wanted posters of people who have loved and lied and left that are spilling out of every organizational system I put them in, and the after years of sitting with my back braced against walls, shaking with sobs I couldn't believe could come from human vocal cords. The after years of seeing nuclear families and, go and entering te DEFCON 5. The after years have taught me that trauma is not linear, it is infinite. It has always begun and always ended. It is not a road map. It is not a diagram in your counselor's office. It is not your friend's condolences or their dry sympathy. Trauma is a life of its own. The after years have taught me that trauma is not always punctuated by blows, but sometimes by fulfillment. We promised to chop all our hair off. She did it within the week, and I kept my 15 inches of safety blanket curled around my fingers as I told her that someone liked her. She wanted to hang out until I told her it was me. When her face became a punch in the stomach and hot cinders lashing my skin, I kept an infected bond and chopped off nearly 20 inches of hair and pretended that it was over. I stood in front of her trembling with tears in my eyes and stayed humble while I showed her where it hurt. She punched the bruise and the moments after became the after years. I wonder if she awakes when her scabs rip open at night and lets them bleed until the tears stop, or if she is scarred already and forgotten my name. I wonder if she stops the world spinning when she hears my name. I wonder if the blunt force trauma hurts at all. It took the after years to learn that it hurts in a loop, and I guess sometimes the hammer hurts the hand. I wonder if she found a love like I did that makes the after years a period of joy and never bleeding out. I hope she finds a love that never chops all her hair off and keeps the wicked promises.